Through a sketchbook school newsletter, I found out about the website Get Messy Art Journal. So I'll put a link to Sketchbook School and Get Messy Art Journal below. And on that website, I found this free lesson on doing a geometric galaxy page in my journal. You start off by taking some washi tape and marking off some geometric shapes in your journal. Sorry about the light color on this. It was the only tape that I had that was a little bit thinner. And now you pick a color for each individual shape, like pinks and blues, or blues and purples, yellow, and a darker yellow. Or you can just stick with the grays and blacks, but I like the color. So just get a nice wash in each shape. This big one I'm going to do in the dark grays and blacks. Putting on salt, the salt absorbs some of the watercolor pigment and leaves a nice texture on the page. Doing a bright pink at the top, adding some salt. It's probably best to let the salt air dry so it absorbs some of the pig pigment to leave the texture, uh, but I wanted to try it with a heat gun. There I'm testing it with my finger, knocking some off. This was definitely the get messy part because I got salt all over the place. Some of it was still a little wet, so I gave it another run with the dryer. Now the next step was to add a little black around the edge. And I think I get carried away with this dark color and I wind up not liking how it looks. And so I'll be fussing with those dark colors and wiping some of it off and adding some color back into each geometric shape. I think when I do this again, I'm going to add less less black or less dark gray and maybe make sure that the uh, pigment in each uh, galaxy is nice and dark before I start adding the, the gray to it. One square I left just gray and black and I did that on purpose but the other ones I'll be fussing with to lift some of the dark and add some more of the color back in especially those yellow shapes uh, way too dark not enough color. Sprinkling some more salt on top of the wet paint. Working on the top shapes now, adding the dark colors. Adding more brighter colors to the different shapes, the yellows and the blues. This is my first galaxy page, so I learned a lot in doing this process. And it was a lot of fun, so I'm going to try it again. Introduce some more galaxies, adding more salt. I use a large kosher salt grains. Uh, you let it absorb some of the pigment, it leaves a nice texture on the page. And when it's dry, you just knock them off with your fingers. This is a fun, messy part. Now I'm taking off the tape. I wasn't very careful. The pages in the Jane Davenport journal um, don't work really well when it comes to tape. I just took a little dab of glue there and pasted down the little part that ripped up. Now I'm trying to use my white gel pen to add in some stars. And the first thing I did was put a little white dot in the little texture that the salt left. And then you make some little wiggly lines around the shapes kind of making it look like a cloud nebula. And then adding a black line behind the white line. My gel pen wasn't working very well, so I decided to get out a silver ink pen and the black glaze pen and go over the ones I already did and then do the other squares with the silver and the black Sakura glaze pen instead of the white gel pen. Uh, maybe I just need to buy a new white gel pen because it was just not, um, the white wasn't coming out correctly. So this is a fun part, just going around creating these little cloud nebulas around the colors, giving it a 
silver border and a darker black border with a glazed pen, adding some stars, a smaller cluster of stars and some larger stars. I really like how some of these came out. Other ones, I think I need a little more practice with. So definitely want to do a few more pages. I love drawing on top of something that I've painted. So this part was a lot of fun for me. Now I'm just going to finish up these other squares. I decided to take the black glaze pen and just draw a black line about around the different geometric shapes. Give them a sharper edge than what I had with just the tape. Besides, I like the look of the black glaze pen. It leaves a very thick, shiny line. They take a few minutes to dry, so you have to be careful not to put the ruler back on top of a line that's wet because it would smush it. I decided to journal right across the middle of the page when I was done. Get Messy Art Journal, Geometric Galaxy, Watercolor and Ink, April 2nd, 2018. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.